At just 15 years old, Sabaresh Nyanamorthy is the world's youngest virtual and augmented reality developer. He's a speaker at tomorrow's TEDx event here in Toronto. Reminder, you guys, he's 15 and he's joining me here in studio. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Sabaresh, tell me how you became the world's youngest augmented reality developer. So my journey uh, towards getting there was started at the Knowledge Society, a program here in Toronto, a human accelerator program that's designed to build exceptional people to solve some of the world's most important problems. And they exposed me to technologies like artificial intelligence, VR and AR, self-driving cars. And VR and AR really caught my eye there. And I wanted to start developing and start building for this technology as soon as I could. So I reached out to Microsoft. And uh, they actually sponsored me to start building for this technology. And they really helped me to kickstart my entire journey in this uh, space here. And after that, I just was building as many applications as I could for it. And right now, I'm working on my own company, actually, called Waypoint AR, a navigation platform for indoor locations that's using augmented reality and artificial intelligence to make navigation more intuitive. So much of what you just said is blowing my mind. Uh, namely, all of the things you're doing, which I don't even really understand. Um, but the fact that you just said you reached out to Microsoft, like, did something like that ever scare you? Or did you just say, why not? Uh, it sort of scared me before I didn't really know how you would do that or how you'd go about that. But the mentors of the Knowledge Society really helped out with going through that process. And also, yeah, it was a factor of why not. Like, if we don't try, we'll just never know. So I tried and it worked out and now I'm here. So it's uh, pretty awesome that that happened and they were able to give me the support to get to where I am now. What do you think the future holds for augmented reality and virtual reality? So I think with augmented reality specifically, uh, it's basically the next step for phones. Like right now we're limited to a small screen right here versus if we can put on these glasses and our entire world becomes our interactive display, uh, that's so much better and it's, uh, like it's bringing, it's not a distraction anymore, it's an integration into our world, uh, which is our phones are right now like distracting. They aren't really integrated into our real world and making it as easy as possible to use, uh, which is what I think AR is gonna be able to do. VR, I think is m more in the future that it's gonna have a lot and lot of impact, uh, but I think it can uh, really have impact on a lot of things like distance in between places and how, um, the entire of my family is in India right now and only my parents and brother are here and how I could, using virtual reality, make, make me feel like I'm in front of them within mm. one of these virtual realities and have haptic feedback, which is feeling senses and feelings to allow for me to have that entire experience. Cool. Uh, Sabarish, as a parent, I'm talking to you and I'm thinking, okay, how do I get my kids to be just like you? What do kids need to, to see the success that you've had? Uh, so I think it's one to be really curious about a lot of these technologies and be willing to learn. And right now we have so many resources online. It's actually really crazy uh, with the internet. Uh, like if you wanted to learn about artificial intelligence, you literally just need to search it up. And there's so many courses out there that are helping people from beginners to advance to learn as much as they want. So it's just a lot of curiosity and the willingness to put in effort. And uh, here in Toronto, the Knowledge Society has really uh, helped me out. So checking that out could be cool. Savers, thank you so much and good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thanks a lot. Awesome to meet you. Yeah.